Hey guys, it's Timo here from Equipto and I'm here to show you guys how to unfold the R5 Impact Crusher. First step is to turn on the hydraulics. Next, open the side panels. Next step is to remove the final conveyor pins so that we can unfold it. Next step is to tilt the frame all the way on its back so that we can unfold the main FCO conveyor. Next step is to unfold the final conveyor. So once we've got the FCO final conveyor unfolded, um, then we can lower the main frame down and also the screen box down so we can put the pins back in. Now we can put the pins back in here, so it keeps the uh, frame supported. Once that's done, uh, then we can lower the folding frame uh, so it rests on the pins. Now we can uh, lift the screen box all the way back to, up to its highest height to working position. Next step is to unfold the hopper walls. So each hopper wall can be done on either side. and unfold the right hand side hopper on the side. Next step is to unfold the left side conveyor or the scalping belt. Then uh, stick the support pins on either side. Next step is to unfold the rub belt, so the recycling belt, uh, to its working position. So the first step is to remove this piece here so we can take the belt out of its holding position. Next we need to remove this pin here. Next step is to lift the front end of the rub belt slightly upwards so we can pull it out of its holder. Using these two functions here, we can move 
the rub out out and to wherever we, we want it to be. Next, we can lower the rub belt into working position. Then we can lift the top end of the rub belt to its working position to get it over the hopper and into its working position again. Once we've got the rub belt in its highest position, uh, then we can move it across against that bump stop so you can rest the side of the rub belt on that bump stop there. Next step is to unfold this right side conveyor. And then we fit the support pins. Now we can fit the rear chute of the bottom of the rub belt. Once this is done, then we can take the rub belt slightly off the bump stop and then lower down the rub belt to its working position. Then we can put the support pin in place. Once we've got our rub belt in working position, then we need to support it using this here. First we need to remove it. Then the next step is to pull out the OSR belt to working position. Rub belt placement can be adjusted to wherever your needs are. So the OSR belt doesn't have to come all the way out or well, this doesn't have to come all the way out so you can place it where you'd like. So at the moment, we've got a little bit of a, a large gap here so we can pull the rub belt Like so. Next step, climb on top of the machine and remove the transport pins for the aprons on both sides. Next step and final step is to secure the rub belt 